it is bright and early in the morning we're gonna go take mater out for a drive but i got a lot of stuff i gotta do to it but like put the tires on finish up some wiring but i'm gonna do that all in the driveway some of you guys are wondering how do i get mater in and out of the garage and we're about to show you Let me know if it's huh? No, I'm not. It's low enough. Even with the front all the way down, cab is just so tall. I mean, my garage is only a seven foot tall garage, so it ain't like it's crazy. This is the most dangerous part because of this lip right here coming out of the garage. You can see we're on the axle right there. We're centered with our jack. I don't recommend this, guys, but it's what we got to do sometimes to get this thing out of the garage. We barely cleared, but jack is pretty much almost all the way down. But we're almost out of there. A little bit more to go. All right, guys, now put the axle stands on and the jack stands on. These are Harbor Freight ones, but they're not the ones that, they're not the part number that comes back to the unsafe ones that you guys wanted to know. Good morning, guys. No, it's good. So I have to jack up the front end to put the wheels and tires on because it needs to sit a little bit higher. But first, a message from today's sponsor, Keeps. Keeps has revolutionized the way men are treated for hair loss. With Keeps, it's easier and more affordable to get treatment for your hair loss and help you keep the hair that you have. You used to have to go to the doctor's office for your hair loss prescription. Now, thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get medication delivered to your home every three months. Fortunately, I've not had problems with male pattern baldness yet, but two out of three guys will by the time they're 35. The best way to prevent it is act while you still have hair. You don't have to go broke to prevent baldness. Keeps has revolutionized the way males treat hair loss by delivering your medication every three months to your doorstep. So there's no more pharmaceutical waits or awkward doctor visits. Prevention is key. Keeps can take four to six months to show results. So acting fast is important. If you're ready to take action and prevent male pattern baldness, use my code keeps.com slash paradox to save 50% on your first order. That's keeps.com slash paradox. Thank you again for Keeps for sponsoring this video. Let's jump right into it. You can also find that link in the top of the description down below. Alrighty guys, I had to stop at the gas station real quick to get some fuel for old Mater. We just topped it off just a second ago. Only got two and a half gallons because it doesn't drink too much fuel and we're not going too far. We got dipping diesel in here. What's going on guys? You guys are wanting to know. Let's turn this AC down. We're freaking getting blasted right now by that AC over here. It's all chilly in here, man. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm cold, dude. I'm getting goosebumps. Like ice. So dipping diesel wasn't in yesterday's video and you guys were tripping out. We're dipping diesel. We're dipping diesel. He has been working on his truck, which we're actually going to go see and introduce you guys to. We've been meaning to do this, but I work freaking every single day. You guys don't know because I never talk about it, but I work a lot. I have like two other jobs other than YouTube, so I can't. And I got a family, two kids, two young kids. So I can't just make videos all the time like I want to. Eventually, the goal is to gonna be gonna be one day to maybe do this full time, but I can't do it anytime soon because YouTube freaking hates me and does not pay me like yeah, they like they like me. They love him. <laughs> they hate me. YouTube freaking hates me, guys. And I his make, channel is like more kid fr or family friendly friendlier than mine. Dude, it's crazy. YouTube, I've emailed them. I don't want to complain on it, but that's why I have to do the uh, sponsored videos, guys, the sponsored content because that's the only reason or that's the only way I really honestly make money off YouTube is to do sponsored content like Keeps. So I appreciate, you know, getting those opportunities because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to keep up with this YouTube channel because I get pennies on the dollars to other YouTube channels that literally I know a ton of YouTubers and I, I make the worst money out of any of them. And I've emailed YouTube, I've emailed Google AdSense. I don't know what it is, but enough of my rant. I can't do this full time, wish I could, maybe one day I can. But today we're gonna go introduce you guys to Dippin' Diesel's truck, which you haven't seen on this channel. We've been meeting, been meeting to make a video on it. He's been really busy uploading. I think he's had it almost two weeks I'm at this point. Working on a video right now. Working on a video. He's probably had it almost two weeks at this point, I think. 15 days. 15. Oh wait, no, it, 15 days was yesterday, so 16 days today. 16 days, time flies, <laughs> man. We went and picked it up. I'll show a picture on the screen right now. We went and picked it up uh, a little bit more than two weeks ago. I uh, picked it up with the 250 in the Gator Maid trailer, dropped it off at his house, and he's been pumping out videos on it. So I'll, his link is always down in the description below, guys. Check him out. We're going to go take Mater down the road. We got the gas. He's got gas in it now. We got gas in it. Got gas in it. So we're going to put Mater down the dirt road, drive to his house, because he lives less than like two miles from me. Yeah. And we're going to take a dirt road the entire way there, so we're not, we're not putting Mater on the 
main road and being unsafe, guys, because it still needs a couple more things to be safe. So we'll catch up with you guys when we get back to the house. Got to put the tires on, got to connect the alternator ground, and I think that's it. It should be road friendly. We'll see you when we get there. All righty, guys. We got all X matted, pretty much 99.9% .9 coverage. We may add one little spot right there. But the back of this wall is all X matted. Cab corners X matted down to the floor, even cut around the gas tank and got all tucked up beneath there too. We got a little bit right there and then a little bit right there and then that's it. I may cut out a little small piece right there because that's kind of an important right there on top. I may, I may cut that real quick, but other than that, I was just telling Jonathan, it legit feels good inside this cab right now. You feel this? Whew. Dude, this is like like putting your hand on a on a frying pan. It's keeping all that air into so, like I wish I could explain to you guys. It is a hundred times hotter out in the sun than it is inside the cab. Yeah. It is crazy how good this X mats yeah. from Eastwood works. You're driving, hit that ball blower, AC. Oh yeah. Hit, hit our AC right there on the cow. And we're good. You show them that yet? No, I don't think I've shown them. Job rated mater. My wife did that for me. Looks pretty I was good. Telling me you should have put another thing. On that yeah, one. I'm gonna he put another put vinyl. Yeah, I'm gonna like put that. a stereo right here. Maybe put a sub box under the back behind the seats. Maybe like two tens or something, and a small amp. Put a little speaker in there. Yeah, speaker there, and then obviously a speaker somewhere in the back, and maybe in the headliner because the headliner will be here soon, yeah. and so we can put. I think the headliner's got like two weeks left. It's like six weeks shipping. I think it's got like two weeks left. <laughs> Is it coming from China? I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> it's coming from somewhere, man. We'll also give it a quick spray down with maybe the pressure washer or something because there's just so much dust on it, and I don't want to. I don't want to go with my hands and wipe it off or something like that or like a, a towel because I don't want to scratch that clear. done rinsing down mater we're gonna go inside get a drink cool down for a second and then take mater on a voyage to go see frank oh, yeah. that's what we're gonna do guys so we're gonna let this thing dry off a little bit it's gonna let it air dry it's been i think three weeks since we painted it so it's fine to put a little wash on it a light wash is what we did we didn't put no crazy waxes or sealers or anything crazy like that guys we just put a just a gentle gentle eco-friendly wash which my painter definitely said was cool to do especially since it's been three weeks since the clear coat's been sprayed. So we're good to go, guys. See you in a minute. All righty, boys, we got her idling. She's at like a very low idle, so she's a little choppy. The original flathead six, all, all, all original motor. Oh yeah. Didn't do nothing to it really, but uh, charge the battery up and fill the coolant up because we got a little water leak on the water pump. Yeah, it's exciting. We're gonna go see Frank, guys. It's hot outside, but it's pretty cool inside here. Yeah, this x mats doing some work. You touch that, and it literally burns you in a second, but it's really cool in here. You got the AC right there as well. Put my window down. Freaking destroy my freaking grass here. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's 
take a dirt road and see Frank. We'll see you guys whenever we get there, or if we break down, or something cool happens, we'll check with you then. The ride quality, 10 times better with the seats. We still need shocks, but we're not bouncing around on buckets anymore, you know? Oh. We were on five gallon buckets before, if you guys are new to the channel. By the way, this is my 1951 Dodge truck, V-Series truck. We've been working on it for about three months now. I'll put a playlist link above, so if you're new to the channel, we pulled this thing out of a barn three months ago, not running, and in really bad shape. So get caught up on the videos, guys. And I'm gonna try to go down to the floor to get us speed it up a little bit. I didn't wanna go in the third. Transmission's a little finicky, but it's 70 years old, so at least it works. We're about five minutes from, uh, I don't know, we're about five minutes. Yeah. About two country miles from Donovan's place. Truck's running good, though. Oh, yeah. And the seat's, like, so much better. It's so cool in here, too. I didn't think about that, dude. It feels good. Yeah, it feels good. Nice, it feels really good. I'm not even hot, really, honestly. I'm not even hot. Go oh, that AC's blowing oh. down here. Uh, yeah. Took 40 miles an hour down, down the hill. <laughs> We're not even in a, we got a two speed rear end on this truck. We're not even at two speed right now. We're just cruising down that hill in neutral. Not trying to go too crazy fast around these corners because it might be somebody like a tractor or something from one of these fields. They don't want to be flying around these corners and hit a tractor or something.
we either ran out of gas or our pickup tube on our fuel pump our little five to seven or four to seven whatever it is our little edelbrock fuel pump put an electric fuel pump on here and uh maybe all the bumps in the road may have shook it up or something that, it looks like it's still in there it's still in there but we just uh it sounded like we ran out of gas it sounded like we just ran out of gas down in there doesn't look like it's out of gas I guess we can stick stuff I'm gonna pop the hood and see you got gas in that reservoir? yeah you got gas in there got gas in bowl. I don't know what it is I don't know man you got gas in it or if it's Dude, over. That, that pump is leaking so much now. It's just I'm about dripping. to say, I wonder if it's overheated. It's just straight dripping. I wonder if it's overheated, though. Because that, that water pump seal. Well, my house is literally right down here. <laughs> almost to your house. I almost made it. I had the headlights on, though. It probably looked sick. Let me turn those on right quick. Oh, yeah. Going down the road, people were staring at this thing, man. <laughs> Probably looks pretty sick going down the road with the lights on, the new lights. Well, boys, we're at least we stopped in some shade. Yes, I pulled <laughs> it over. I was like, we got to make it to that tree. One thing, if you broke down a lot, you'll realize find shade, whether you're in a parking lot or whatnot, find shade, and it makes 10 times better. So we kind of cruised it to the shade, and we'll figure it out, guys. All righty, guys, we found the actual issue. The battery is just not being charged by the alternator, I guess. Yeah. The battery is just really low on voltage because we just tried to crank it over and it would barely spin that engine over. So we got it on the jump box now. Came prepared. You know, we've been through this time or two. <laughs> so the key's on. We got the key working. By the way, job ready key tags. Link in the description below, boys. Get your job ready key tag. Job ready. Job ready truck. Let's see if it turns it over. Dude, that thing sounds dead. Hold on. Dead as hell. Hey, how you doing, sir? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, man. We've been working on this truck, trying to get it to start up. Thank you. All right, guys. We got the spare battery in here, the one we had for Frank, because Frank's battery's dead too. It should work, I think. Hopefully. Unless it died overnight. I'll try and crank it up and see if it's gonna crank. Here goes nothing. The guys across the street, the house we broke down next to, they're pretty cool. They're still really talking to us. Pretty cool guys. It acts like it wants to fire. All right, guys, the cell phone's overheating because it's hot as heck outside, but I yeah. got the Sony with me too, so try to keep cranking this thing up. Just pull that choke out just a little bit, just for shits and giggles. See if it does anything. And then slowly push it back in. Some guy passing us. Thank you. It's a nice truck. <laughs> Old Dodge. I didn't even hear. Like she wants to start, man. What the heck? I don't know, man. It's crazy, dude. What the hell? All right, guys. Uh, the next thing is spark because that ignition coil is really hot. That's the next possibility we think it could be. So let's check that and get back with you guys here in a second. But that battery for sure was a problem. It acts like it wants to. It's acting like it wants to fire. One, dude, it does, I put on a battery charger overnight. Dead in the morning. Like, <laughs> and we're not even running a hot wire anymore. We're actually running to our ignition now, so it runs on the key. Yeah. Before we were just running a hot wire, but that that it's coil hot. is really, really hot, like stupid hot. All right, guys, we're gonna look into it. Catch up with you here in a minute. All righty, guys. Uh, we're probably gonna end the video out here. I didn't know this thing was gonna break down. I thought we were good because we've driven it a few times since the last video, and it's ran good the whole time. 
uh last video we were shooting i think we got up to like 45 miles an hour in this thing but all day today was running weird i kept telling him i was like I'm like dude it's not running right it just something's wrong with it so i think it's a combination of a few things but we'll get it figured out guys worst comes to worst we'll get his truck to tow me back may even get the uh the old dodge 500 to tow this thing back that's pretty, pretty sweet <laughs> uh, i don't got brakes on mine <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we'll get it figured out, guys. We'll catch you in the next one and get Mater back on the road. But as of right now, we're in not BFE this time, which is good. We already had a couple of nice people come up to us and ask us if we needed anything. So that was pretty cool. And we got shades. So that's two things we didn't have last time. So we're stepping up in the world. But we'll catch up with you guys in the next one uh, and see if we can get this thing on the road. So we'll see you then. Peace.